Damn. <laughs> nice. Listen up, everyone. Tonight, you will be receiving a bedtime story. It's a scary bedtime story, but it's also a very horny bedtime story, so put on a fresh pair of pants because something may happen, okay? I'm a crone. I sell apples by the roadside. And she tells stories. Uh, to Snow White. And I'm also related to House Targaryen, so... Is that a Game of Thrones reference? It is. All right. Good job. Thank you. I'm going to give you some uh, physical orientation that you can uh, project a story upon. A wolf interpretation. I'm going to do some uh, body art in the back. I'm about to read you a story called Ravaged by the Rougarou. And if none of you know what a Rougarou is, it's a southern term for a Bigfoot, for a werewolf, for a cryptid, for a creepy creature that roams the swamps at night. Mysterious, dangerous, mystical. Is everyone ready for Ravaged by the Rougarou? Shrek is not a f***ing werewolf, Ellie, okay? Chapter one! I'm putting the reverb on. This is an audiobook. You can all just go and f*** yourselves and your cherry pie. Rose slams the door behind her and bursts out of the house, almost losing her flip-flop. She's one big thundercloud as she stomps across the pool patio and kicks open the door to the yard and marches through it straight into the backwoods. With all of the rage still pumping inside her, she pulls down the Spanish moss blacking her way and smashes it on the ground while she aggressively growls at it. She forcefully slaps herself on the leg when a mosquito tries to land on her thigh. Well, f you too, she announces. 